Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I review True Wireless Stereo Earbuds and In-Ear Monitors. My name is Septian and this is the review of the Earfun Air Pro 2, the sequel to the Earfun Air Pro. Now, you look at the box and you look at the earbuds themselves, they look like the Earfun Airs, but okay, I'll, I'll just go with it. Now, the price. As I'm recording this video, they are $79.99 on Amazon and Earfun.com. But on Amazon, you can save an extra 10% at checkout with the coupon. Now, for the features, you're getting hybrid active noise cancellation up to 40 decibels of sound is cut out. You also have 10 millimeter di titanium composite dynamic drivers. Mm, excuse me. <clears throat> 34 total hours of playtime stereo mono mode IPX5 water resistant you get wireless charging cheap compatible you have in-ear detection and I'll talk more about the in-ear detection later on in the video <clears throat> you also get transparency mode for ambient sound touch controls plus volume control and you get Bluetooth 5.2 with SBC and AAC now as far as the Bluetooth connectivity I've noticed that at 40 feet I'm good but once I reach like 50 they start to cut out and that's with obstacles in the way like walls but other than that Bluetooth connectivity is really good so I've already unboxed these on my channel you can check that video out first and then come back to this review let's talk about the design and the fit so looking at the case it's rounded got the earphone branding on top you got one LED indicator light and we turn around on the back you got the USB type C charging port back you got the FCC branding and all that stuff it says that the battery on the case is 500 milliamps pretty good battery open up the case you got left and right branding you got your reset pairing button right here now I what did have these paired to a phone but I cut the Bluetooth off and you can see take the earbuds out you have a flat face right here this is your touch control you got a long stem a little longer than the Tozo NC2 earbuds that I review but not too long a little small now on the bottom you have the microphones you got the charging pins right here and then turn them over and you have the infrared sensors on the inside of the buds you also have some more microphones right here on the back now as far as the fit they fit very comfortably in the ears all you gotta do is insert and lock and there you go now the silicone tips that come with the buds, they're like multiple sets. If I'm not mistaken, yep, there's three sets of some A's and three sets of the B's. So you get plenty of tips in the box. So good, good feel. I haven't tried the uh, spin fits on these. No need because, I mean, if you're going to put that many tips in the box, might as well try them all out instead of moving on to some aftermarket ones. So the controls, the controls are very good. They control everything. You get call, music playback, A and C. So they're as follows. For pause and play, double tap the left and the right earbud twice. Next track, triple tap on the right. Previous track, triple tap on the left. Volume up, one tap on the right, volume down one tap on the left if you want to answer in the call you can double tap either the left or the right earbud reject the call you can long press on either earbud activating the voice assistant is a long press on the right and to cite the noise cancelling controls is a long press on the left and so you get noise cancelling ambient sound and normal mode Hey, this is Future Septian. 
I'm editing this video and I realized I forgot to talk about the mics. So I'm gonna do that right now. This is a mic test of the Earfun Air Pro 2 mics in a quiet environment. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, now, three. Ear moving on to the battery. You get seven hours on a single charge. You get 27 additional out uh, charges with the case, and you get 35, I mean 34, total hours of playtime. Supports quick charge. 10 minutes of fast charge will equal about two hours of playtime. Charging the earbuds from zero to 100% takes 90 minutes, and wirelessly charging the buds from zero to 100 takes plus or minus two hours. So, I'll put these on my anchor pad to show you that they charge. Let me set them on here like that. And as you can see, the red light is pulsating. And once the buds are fully charged, I think the light just goes off. Or no, it turns green. Now about the ANC and the ambient sound. So earphones got this new technology they're calling it the quiet smart 2.0 hybrid active noise cancellation technology now these block out wind noise so as soon as you put the earbuds in your ears ANC is on by default now, I've been testing out the ANC for about a couple of hours now the ANC is mild it targets low frequencies like uh, engines and road noise it doesn't eliminate loud voices so if you're around like a crowd of people talking, that's gonna filter through. And ambient sound is fully transparent. You hear all sounds around you. Now my experience with the ANC and the ambient sound is when I get off work Thursday morning. I'm just sitting in my car with the window open. I got the earbuds in my ears and I got the ANC on. I'm not doing anything, I don't have the car on. I'm just sitting there collecting my thoughts, getting ready to go home and I got and I don't hear anything. I'm seeing everybody from third shift, they're leaving, they're escaping hell, and then everybody from first shift, they're getting ready to come into the meat grinder. And you'd think you would hear cars, you'd hear people walking, you'd hear like, you know, something, nothing. I turn on ambient sound, the world comes back. I turn ANC back on, the world disappears again. So it's pretty good ANC and ambient sound. I like it. The Air Pro 2s have some really impressive hyperactive noise cancellation. The ANC is much better than the Airfun Free Pro, but not as good as the Liberty Air 2 Pro. It's good as far as Airfun standards is, confer is concerned. But Soundcore still got a beat because you can customize it. The Soundcore, Liberty Air 2 Pros, you get that indoor ANC, transport ANC, you get transparency mode, whether you want this focus on voices or you just want to listen to all your surroundings. So haven't I don't have the Earfront Air Pro. So I'm just only basing these off the Earfront Free Pro. This is some good ANC. No cap. Loved ANC. It's great. I don't care about, you know, blocking out like loud noises or anything. As long as I can just sit there and relax and just listen to music, I'm fine with that. Now, the inner detection is a great addition to the Air Pro 2. When you take out one of the buds from your ear, the music pauses. So you place the earbud on a flat surface like a table infrared scissors right here the music's going to play back again the only way you can get it to not play music is to put it on a table like that you put it on a table like this the music is going to resume and another bonus with inner detection is smart playback whenever you take an earbud out of your ear the music resumes no matter how long they've been out of your ears there's another pair of earbuds i need to review that have that same feature that is a plus so let's say you're a person, you like to listen to your earbuds, you like to listen to this mono mode. I do that every now and again. And let's say somebody, you know, talk, trying to ask you something or talk to you like family member, you know, SO, whoever, and you put the earbud back in your ears, guess what? Two, two seconds, two minutes, 
music plays back again. That's amazing. I love that feature. That's a great feature. Now, for the sound quality. Woo! Sound quality good. Sound quality is really good. So I've been listening to these at max volume and the factory like set volume, which is like, you know, half of what they are. Like when you first put earbuds in your ears and you first start playing music, that's the factory setting. The bass. Oh my God. I'm still in this from Super Review. Big booty bass. Like it just thumping. And that's at half volume. I go louder than that, the bass gets bigger. It got that good dynamic sound. Good vocals, male and female, good detail. I really like listening to these loud, but because the sound quality is so good, I'll probably listen to these like 55, 60, maybe 70% at uh, volume. I don't really like to go up to the max because I don't like to damage my ears because their ears are already messed up. But really good volume, really good sound quality. Earfun is really good at tuning their earbuds to give you that that rich, deep, immersive bass, which is a little different from Sound Peach. If I had to, if I had to say, Sound Peach is more V-shaped with a little bit. Well, I'd say the V is more capitalized on one end and lowercase on the other. These are more like a really like wide V, maybe like a W. It's really good sound quality. So comparing these to some earbuds that I've reviewed before, like I said, the ANC is much better than Airfoot Free Pro. I do like the shape and the design. Airfoot Free Pro are my favorites because, well, they're very small, they're very compact, they have a very lightweight and uh, charging case that the Airfoot Free Pro, they don't take up a whole lot of space. This is pocketable as well. It's not a chunky monkey, so you can can you can fit this in your front jeans pocket or your your slacks. I'm not gonna take up much space. If you like uh, Air uh, AirPods Pro type design earbuds, these work for you. Um, the Soundcore Life P3s, ANC sound quality, pretty much the same. The only plus that the Soundcore earbuds I reviewed is. You get app support so you can EQ the sound to the way you want to listen to it and you can customize and personalize the, uh, the ANC and the, and the transparency mode. So in conclusion, if you're looking for some new earfun earbuds and you are on the fence about trying, you know, all the different because I got so many different like uh, products now you, you got the Airfun Free, Airfun Free 2, Airfun Free Pro, Airfun Air, Airfun Air Pro, and now the Airfun Air Pro 2. So, if in my opinion, I don't have the golden ears, I'm going to have to go with Airfun Free 2, number 1, Airfun Air Free, Air Pro 2, number 2, and Earfun Free Pro is number three. Those are my top three out of the Earfun earbuds. Not this overall, this out of the earfuns. So, or you can probably just get the, you know, Soundcore Life P3s. I mean, they're pretty much the same price. They have the same features. I mean, the only difference is this one has an app and this one doesn't. Earfun makes an app. Oh man, I'd love for them to make an app. But yeah, this has been the review of the Earfun Air Pro 2 True Wireless Earbuds. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and share this video. And thank you for watching. Video.